How you doing today? Welcome to Moe's Math. In today's piping configuration, we have what we call 45 offsets around a corner. And what we have here, we have the building structure, this wall, and many times we have to keep our pipe close to that to keep it out of the ceiling. <clears throat> and we have to maintain a desired dimension from that corner, and that would be L. That would be a perpendicular measurement, and we want to maintain L. Keep in mind, L is from the outcropping to the side of the pipe, but the geometry is to the center of the pipe. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find two triangles here. We're going to find the red there, and we're going to find this green. And when we add them up, that'll give us B. That'll tell us where to start the 45, and then we'll have achieved this dimension here. Keep in mind insulation and thermal expansion growth. So in the formula, we got L, okay, plus half of the pipe OD. Let's blow this up here so we understand. So the geometry for the triangle is from the side of the pipe plus half the pipe. That's what this formula is saying. L plus half a pipe OD. So we know 10 inch pipe OD wise is 10 and 3 quarters. So let's take L at 5.5 five inch one slash half okay then we have to add half of the pipe so let's add five inch three slash eight so that's ten and seven eighths and then at that point there we're going to multiply it by one four one so we're right here in the formula when we multiply that by 141 times that by 1.414, that tells us that we have achieved, let's blow it up here, that we have a side now that's 1 foot 3 and 3 eighths. So the green line is actually the travel, and that was achieved by taking L at five and a half plus half the pipe. So we got one foot three and three eighths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take Y minus X. So we take Y minus X. So here we have two foot three and a half to the outcropping and our center of our riser is at eight. So let's do that. Y minus X. So two foot three inch one slash half minus eight inches gives us one foot seven and a half. So let's draw the triangles in now. Yeah, there's a formula here, but it's triangulation is everything in pipe fitting. Let's go over here. We have this straight down, one foot three and three eighths. And let's make this red. And then we have another 45 triangle with two legs of one foot seven and a half. So we had the one foot seven and a half to the one foot three and three eighths. Then that will give me that will give me B. That's where to start the forty five. So let's finish this now. One foot seven and a half plus one foot three inch three slash eight. You can see in our answer sheet 
I mentioned B is 2 foot 10 and 7 eighths. That's where we start the 45. So what drives the problem is the pipe size, the distance from the outcropping, and then just plug in the numbers here. Okay? And then we also have to find A. Okay, so A, A is going to be, this is pretty simple here, A is going to be Z plus Y, okay, this is, this is the, the wall we're measuring off of, Z plus Y minus X. And then you'll have your 45 triangle. So let's do that. Z plus Y convert clear 2 foot 3 inch 1 slash half oops excuse me clear do it again 2 foot 3 inch 1 slash half plus 1 foot 3 inch 3 slash quarter that's 3 foot 7 and a quarter that's minus 8 inches so needless to say that's 2 foot 11 and a quarter Times that by 1.414, 4 foot 1 and 13 sixteenths. And here you can see we match 4 foot 1 and 13 sixteenths. So this will make you a better pipe fitter. Look for the triangles. There's two of them in here. The more you do it, the more proficient you'll be. You're looking for the green line, that's the travel. Then find the remainder of it, which would be the offset. Add the two together, and you'll be a superstar. Okay? So, just remember, math is the path. I hope this helped you, and there'll be more of this to come. Talk to you soon. Bye.